Hello everyone and welcome to a new series of Stalker Gamma. So we're just coming off of an Invictus run. Um, after we finished that I managed to actually update my game because I was scared to do it before, uh, scared to mess up the run. But we have updated the game now to the latest version. And because Invictus was so stressful and scary, I decided the next series, which are, we are starting right now, I will go a completely different direction. So, what we will do is uh, we will play Ecologist. Oh yes, but we will have some self-imposed rules to make the run a little bit more interesting. So, as always, we will play hard. And survivalist. I will enable Souls-like mode, so this will not be an Iron Man run. Uh, but I do want dying to have some consequences beyond just reloading. And I haven't played Souls-like before, so let's give it a try. Now, going to the rules we're, we're imposing upon ourselves. First of all, I have the Black Market mod enabled. But, um, there is a reason for it. I, we're, we're playing an ecologist, right? We're, we're a scientist. We're a doctor. I'm giving my guy a doctor, just like that. He's not a professor yet, but he's working towards it. And uh, his studies of the zone may as well lead him to getting a professor's degree, I think it's called. Right. But for now, he's a doctor, and he, he doesn't take weapons and armor off of dead stalkers. I mean, come on, we are a respectable scientist. We don't do that. So what we will do is um, we will actually buy our gear off the black market. And uh, that will present a challenge in and of itself, because those things are expensive, especially the late game gear. Now, mind you, we will take weapon parts and uh, other stuff off of dead stalkers, like uh, meds, food, you know, everything but uh, weapons and armor. Um, other rules I was thinking of is we will not take any stalker killing missions except clear the research area. So we will not be doing assassinations, we will not be doing uh, stalker rescues, we will only do things that an ecologist might do, which is uh, mutant hunts, any ecologist mission, um, artifact hunts, uh, placing different devices here and there, uh, hunting for um, radio stashes, and uh, turning missions. So that's how we will get our money. Um, right, another thing, I will have the companion set to 2 and 4 after the folk hero, simply because um, we're not a trained soldier, so we're going to hire the help to do it. But there's a secondary rule to that, which is uh, anyone who helps us will be set to fight and I am not allowed to set them to passive. So, if they die, they die. <clears throat> right. Um, another thing is, we will be playing story mode. I will do the main missions. But, um, uh, my priority is to do the ecologist missions in the labs after we finish the first mission. So, I haven't done them before. I heard they're pretty fun. And difficult but you know after you cl kill, clear the miracle machine the first time you will get a mission to clear it a second time so scientists can go in there and um, science the stuff I guess <laughs> so we will do that those as a priority uh, we will also do the artifact hunts as a priority and the heart of the oasis as a priority and that leads me to the final, um, final. let's not call it a rule, but uh, I will try and do it as much as possible. 
I will mostly go for ecologist armor. Um, and a spe specifically anomaly uh, resistance armors. So I will try to avoid stuff like uh, exosuits or or just uh, mercenary armors that have high ballistic ray resistances but uh, are pretty bad on everything else. So we will mostly go for, um, you know, um, environmental suits and stuff like that. I'm... We are not gonna avoid taking exoskeletons, for example, because there are scientists in Jupiter that do use them, so it is lore appropriate. But um, yeah, we we will um, we will try to avoid the the stupidly powerful late game uh, late game ballistic armors, and that will be a problem with monolith and sin. But uh, we'll see when we get there. Another thing, I uh, only want to use two weapons at the same time, so I'm not gonna stick a million weapons on our um, on our scientist. So, an assault rifle and a sidearm, or a shotgun and a sidearm, or, you know. Alright, so, we're gonna start off in Yantar. And normally I would take the best armor there is, but this time I want to take the MP5. I mean, we should have a little bit of gear as a scientist. They're not going to send people out with just a, a toss. We're not bandits here, are we? Right, of course we'll take the respirator. We will take the leather jacket, which is the secondary armor. I'll take one um, ibuprofen. We are going to grab at least one set of sleeping pills, both rad resist um, meds. Gonna take two standard meds, gonna take two of these. I will take, uh, what else? Do I want systamine? No, I want, uh, I'm gonna take two sets of potassium iodide and one bread. All right, and that's going to be our starting gear. I think it's uh, well set up for what we want to do. Uh, I should have probably taken more ammo, but there is actually no 9x19 that we can take. So that's that. And yeah, let's uh, jump into the game. All right, so here we are in the game. I will go ahead and equip everything, our PDA, our uh, detector. I will favorite our uh, bullets and I'm gonna move the MP5 over here uh, and uh, as always knife in the vision slot okay and I just realized I forgot something very important I didn't finish completely naming our character so let's go to was it gameplay yes gameplay player and doctor Dr. Crom, that doesn't sound right. That's perfect. Dr. Krominov. That sounds stalkerish enough, right? <laughs> right, another thing I forgot to mention when we started out is that um, uh, just to make it more interesting for people who don't know, maybe don't know Stalker, I will go ahead and uh, read aloud the um, mission lore and stories so just so other people know what is happening. So yeah, we're gonna go for a, a more chill story cinematic type of thing. So let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Sakharov. You wanted to see me, Professor. Right. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Good. I'm glad you're here. Something unexpected has happened, young man. Strelok has been sighted in the zone once again. Finding him is currently a priority, both to me and our supervisors. If you wish to participate in our search for Strelok, I can tell you more. If not, well, I have another important assignment. It involves traveling the zone and meeting new people to learn as much as you can. There is so much out there that we haven't yet discovered. You could consider it uh, exploratory research. Right, tell me more about the situation with Strelok, Professor. 
That brave man helps, helped us immensely several years ago. He managed to deactivate the miracle machine on his own so that we were no longer threatened by its psychic emanations. He even worked as our chief scientist consultant for some time, but sadly that was not to last. Regardless, Strelok was to the center of the zone. I shudder to imagine the things he witnessed and, the, and experienced in there. He must possess great knowledge about the inner works, workings of the zone, perhaps its true origin as well. Young man, do you know what that would mean for the scientific community? That could be Nobel Prize material. Do you want me to find him? That would be excellent. Professor Kalancha was similarly eager to help in this search. Sadly, he couldn't help long, but he suggests we first visit Dr. Strelok's companion to gather more clues on our living legend's whereabouts. Doctor lives in a remote corner of the Great Swamps, which I'll mark for you. Professor Kalancha also said to bring some good radiation protection. Doctor doesn't like being disturbed these days, and his environment reflects that. Let us hope he knows of our old friend's return. Okay, so that will be the Strelok mission. We're gonna have to find Doctor in the Great Swamps. Okay. Um... I'm interested in conducting exploratory research for the ecologist, Professor. Where shall I start? Here, a list of contacts will take care of you along your journey. Visit them, they can provide you with work or food or shelter. Explore and be curious, be bold and adventurous. Question everyone and everything. I expect your experience will vastly increase our understanding of the zone. Right, so I'll also ask him about the Brain Scorcher and the Miracle Machine. And he will tell us that uh, we cannot advance past the Red Forest or uh, even uh, through Limansk unless we have a, um, a Psy Helmet, which will cost 30,000 rubles. Or, yeah, we, we will need it to also enter the Miracle Machine and the Brain Scorcher. Right, uh, with all that out of the way... Let's see, he will also trade NATO weapons on the black market, only the cheap ones, but he won't sell any. And uh, I will go into a trade with him. There's nothing we can sell, but I will buy one lead line uh, metal container because we do want to, um, we do want to hunt for some artifacts. Oh, this is a foggy day. I don't like that. Okay, so uh, let's let's uh, get our priorities right first. What we have to do first of all, we have to get bullets. We have to get meds. That's that's the first thing we do every game. Let's talk to Spirit. We'll ask who he is and. Um, what his story is, and he will tell us that uh, for Nemiroth Vodka, he will give us either ammo or for 20 charges of Nemiroth Vodka, he will actually give us a basic tool, tool set, which is pretty amazing. He also sells mutant food uh, and normal food, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you don't want to cook it yourself, of course. But yeah, so... First of all, we want bullets, and we want basic. Uh, we want bullets and um, uh, and uh, meds. That's the most important for surviving right now. So let's go ahead and. Huh. Okay, all right. Uh, this one starts the artifact uh, hunt chain, I think. So. Um, Sure, I got some time. What do you need? For my next experiment, I'll require anomalous dirt from the local anomalous fields. You need to go into these anomalies and find these almost formed artifacts. Your detector should be able to pick them up to help your search. That sounds easy. I'll get your shiny dirt. Here are the coordinates. Inspect them with a detector. Sure. So, um, let's see. They should be around here. Although some of them will be pretty, pretty harmful 
do us uh, because we don't really have very good uh, very good uh, rad resistance <clears throat> or any other resistance okay so right now we're just gonna loot everything we can get our hands on everything um, every little bit matters because uh, Oh, I guess you can climb in a car like that. Right. Okay, and uh, let's talk to the mechanic over here. And we can sell everything that we don't use, uh, including the slugs right now, and uh, honestly, all of these. Simply because, uh, once again, <coughs> we will not... Um, we will not be making our own armor, because we can't loot it off of dead bodies, so that means we're gonna have to buy it. Um, does he, I wonder, have anything I didn't really check properly. Doesn't look like he has anything out of the ordinary. The professor might have had something I didn't spot. No, he actually doesn't have anything off the black market, but that's that's all right. Okay, so uh, next up, we're gonna start looking for some missions. So we're gonna check on the task board. Now remember, we do need um, we do need green st yellow stashes because we updated the game. We do need yellow stashes to get um, basic and advanced tools. Uh, we can be get basic tools from this guy with the vodka, but we still need stashes for the advanced tools. So, uh, recover the cracking device in Agroprom. Um, yeah, this will be probably on a mutant or a dead mutant. So we can take that. Professor Semenov, oh god, this, this mission. So this guy asks to come with us uh, until we kill five different type of types of mutants so he can gather data and tissue samples. But usually he dies before we do that or he bugs out and he doesn't recognize the five different mutant types. But he is a free companion, so we will take him. Okay, what else? Um, recover a prototype from the truck cemetery. A dangerous area, but we can do it. And classified information, we need to get some documents from a stash. It is, it does reveal a stash, so it's a free stash for us. We will take this. As for the rest, turning missions, we don't really have anything to turn in. Okay. So that's, that's what we have right now. Let's go and see if we can grab some artifacts. We have our detector ready. Of course, I'm going to check around to see if there's anything else just lying around. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Now I regret not taking an antidote. That's a moon. That's a sponge. Okay, and we have to run out fast. Oh boy. That 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 was painful. But we're we're okay and I'm actually gonna take uh, some potassium iodide just to clear the rats faster. Um gonna take two of them. I don't wanna use the vodka just because uh, we do wanna uh, get our tools with it. And we can also have some cigarettes. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna get pretty hungry off of this. Is there anything on top of the bunker? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, let's just eat our bread loaf. I don't think it'll be enough, but 
Yeah, I, I don't want to eat the beef to Shanko right now. Right, uh, next stop, we are going to go to this area. Which uh, is not really my favorite. It usually has mutants there. Okay, let's take it a bit slower because it's pretty hard to spot um, the anomalies in the grass. Okay, so in this area, there are usually snorks or dogs. Okay. In this case, it's a fracture. <sighs> I thought that wasn't very good. Oh! Very radiated here. Okay, we're gonna have to take a rad resist. And maybe go around this area. There may still be other mutants around here. Uh, did I see something over there? Bolting hammer. Yeah, I don't think that was worth taking so many rads. Ah, well. Right, so, um, about the grass, I didn't really increase density, I still left it on uh, normal, but I did increase the grass size, which makes it look very nice and lush. It will be much harder spotting mutants, but uh, you know what? It's it's going to be interesting to, to have it be a little bit more difficult. Of course, we'll see boars and stuff like that, but uh, maybe dogs will be a bit harder. Dogs and cats to spot. Oh, wow, that's a lot of rats. Let's, um... Not this. Uh, we did have a... Didn't I take a system in with me? Or did I already use it? Okay. Okay, that looks safe. What the hell? Interesting. He doesn't want to pull out the the um, detector without um Okay, magnet and another artifact. That's good. He doesn't want to pull the detector out without the sidearm. Okay. Uh, oh, actually what we got was uh, our ball back. <laughs> was there any other artifact here? Yes. Mm. Was that a spike? All right, I'm sure Professor Sakharov will will um, pay us pretty well for for these. And we can do a vodka as well. I mean, drink a vodka. And I'm definitely gonna have to go and buy some food now. And I'm completely out of meds too. Oh wow 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 Um Right That was not planned
Okay, let's let's see if we can make it to <sighs> the spirit before we die of hunger. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, maybe we can spend some time by a campfire. Oh, there we go. Right, so what do you have for uh, 3,000? Uh, these will do. A couple of beef to Shankas. Yeah, we're we're in pain. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can sell these two artifacts. There we go. Right, we recovered enough money to cover our um, our food losses. Um, okay, we have enough money to actually get one med kit. But we're gonna have to be really careful on the next one. Uh, I mean, on the next. Um, Artifact patch. Um, also, we can buy another something something for food. Uh, that's too expensive. I can't afford sausage. <laughs> um, not even dog chops. Okay, you know what? I can sell you... Never mind, I'll take some beans in that case. We can at least afford beans, can't we? We have 30 rubles in our pocket remaining. Um, yeah, it is my bad, but... Um, I mean, I just got here, I didn't know the zone was so vicious. Right. Um, oh, that one. Ah, we can make it all the way there. Let's let's take the uh, other way around. But we still have some rod resistance meds. Because the rod resistance we have right now won't last um, all the way there. Open detector. Plastic film. Oh! That was pretty bad. Okay, we are getting close to the Miracle Machine. And uh, you can see by how the screen turns yellow that um, we are under the effect of some psychic field or other. Yeah, let's, let's talk to this guy. I think he's a mechanic. Привет, брат. Что скажешь? Um, do we have anything we can trade with him, actually? Oh, he actually sells <laughs> an M40 gas mask for 40,000 rubles. Mm. Ah, I don't think I have anything to, to trade, for, trade him. Okay, we can uh, sit here a little bit until our health replenishes. And then we can start moving north to get to the um, concrete dump anomaly. And we should find a couple more artifacts in there. After that, I would like to... Um, Agroprom. Thing is, we wasted so much money by uh, having to get food and um, and more meds at this point. I would have liked to go to garbage and get some uh, some HP ammo, 
but it doesn't look like that will happen, so we might have to go to Agroprom. Right, I am going to have to take some rad resist drugs. I'll take them right now, just in case I walk into another drug, uh, an another uh, a radiation field. Right, so there are sometimes mutants around here. Uh, I've encountered pseudo dogs mostly or snorks. But it looks like we're clear this time. But let's pull out our detector and let's see what's around here. Here we go. There's lurkers in the in the miracle machine compound. flower. I'm gonna put that in the container immediately. Okay, and there should be the mission artifact around here somewhere. Okay, it's probably the other way. Oh my god, is it in the middle of that vortex? Yeah, it says easy, but... <laughs> Not that easy. Okay, um, seems we made it out in one piece. <clears throat> so I, I would, I wouldn't mind fighting some lurkers. The problem is, I don't think my knife is strong enough to cut through their hive, the hide, which means um, I'm not gonna get anything for them. Except, I'm gonna lose bullets. Okay, let's see if there's anyone here that has some other tasks. Lost signal in the darkscape. That actually might be interesting. Um, although the darkscape is so big, I'm not sure how we'll go about finding that lost signal. Right, so we should get some amount of uh, money just because we managed to get all those uh, artifacts. So we might actually still be heading to garbage. Oh, there we go. Isn't this much better? Um, still looking for basically anything I can put my hands on. Oh god, bads again. There be no end. Uh, I can I can smoke a lot. That'll help. Okay. Here are your samples, and we got three thousand. Anything else you need help with? Okay, um... He's asking us to grab some um, artifacts from wild territory, and he also gave us an improved body cooler. Which is actually pretty good at this point in the game. It does give us a lot of carry capacity. Um... Unfortunately, I can't really wear it right now because I don't have pockets. So we'll put it aside here, along with all the other things that uh, well, I will keep the ammo parts. Right, stone flower. I don't think twenty-three percent. I don't think the doctor will buy it. Nah. That's too bad. 
So we'll just have to keep it um, in the in the artifact case. Okay, so let's see where do we go next. Um, yeah, uh, wild territory is completely out of the question. Uh, simply because the this one anomaly is uh crazy to get to and it's usually there's just way too many radiation way too much radiation there usually what i will do is i will head to the garbage and from the garbage we can go agriprom great swamp sidorovich and back um unless we get some missions to send us back to yantar but yeah, currently I think the best thing we can do is get some ammo. So we'll go through to the garbage through wild territory. It's uh, probably the easiest way. And since we're going to wild territory, we can actually um, do a little run to the uh, fire anomaly tunnel. And we might uh, find another artifact there. Hopefully not a radioactive one. Because uh, honestly, I I uh, don't. I couldn't afford the. I can afford the lead line container, but I don't want to use the money for that. Okay. Here we are in wild. We did go through a little crash there uh, while loading the new zone, so I did have to reload. That's all right. I would prefer if it weren't this foggy. Uh, oh, I had my guy set to loot. You maybe take something? No, he didn't. Let's have an arm cell, which is pretty cool. I didn't even check. Yeah. And now let's see. How was this? We go left. And left again. We wait for the big ball of fire. Okay, then we go right. And right again. And apparently there is nothing here. Oh my god. <sighs> apparently all mercs triggered at the same time. You know what? I'll follow them. Oh, that, that. That's an interesting way of holding the weapon, sir. Okay, so it's a poltergeist. Oh, not only a poltergeist. I'll take that, thank you. Anything... Oh! Oh, that, that was uh, scary. Old headlamp, I'll take it. And... Um, Yeah, no, nothing interesting here. Except another snork. Okay. So let's do a little check and see what missions we could get from here. Uh, mutants in the wild territory. You know what? We can do that. Right there. Sure. We have one mag and 14 <sighs> loadings left. And hide that shoot, no, 14... Though, bullets left sorry so i think we might be able to take out whatever this is yeah the the anomaly is actually underneath us and apparently the mutants are underneath us as well oh
Oh, not good, not good. Okay. I'm pretty sure there was another dog. And we are completely out of um, ammo. But we definitely have to make our way to um, garbage now. Might as well just pull the knife out. Okay. Got a little bit of money. Got the sharpening stone set, which will help with our... Um... Maybe one of these guys has some bullets? You? Wanna trade? No, he doesn't. How about you? Nope. And he doesn't have anything. We will take whatever is lying around here. Carbon fiber layers, duct tape, grooming kit. Okay. Off we go then. I should do an ibuprofen just to heal that leg. Okay, next up. Um, okay, that's going that way. Keep to the left and one. Oh, get down. Good. Two to the right, and we're out. Okay, we don't have food, we'll just have to drink some water, and that will also feed us a little bit. Mm. Alright, and off we are to garbage, where we will buy some HP ammo. Okay, garbage time. I hope I don't meet any mutants on the way. We're just gonna make a quick run over here to the right. There should be an anomaly. Yeah, the synapse anomaly. I'm not sure there's anything here. No. No, apparently there's nothing. There's a world worldly gig right on top of us, but uh, that's it's okay. Right, and we'll make a run straight or um, the base we don't really want to fight anything out here oh i heard mutants behind us uh, it's a cat okay Oh yes, uh, I have turned loot claim off, just so you know. it's uh, I don't enjoy playing with it. It's as simple as that. I find that having it on just makes me want to cheat the system and find ways to, to kill both the guy that killed whoever and uh, the guy he killed. So, uh, yeah, whatever, no. Okay, gonna do a quick run around here, see if we can get anything else. A radio. Right, I don't think there should be anything outside here. And we can just go and... Um... Oh. Nope, nothing to trade. run around here check the trains as well uh that was some type of med which is nice i think it's um chem resist 
Okay, let's check the other train. Duct tape, good. Armor plates, I guess. Right. Uh... Okay, we can actually disassemble pretty much everything here. Okay, there's one more place we didn't check, and it's um, down here. And we found some food, which is amazing. Okay, someone's fighting something there. Oh, it's boars. So, um... Oh, they're coming. Professor is doing some work with that arm cell. Though he is going to die very soon. Okay, that's that's a pretty good uh pretty good haul we had there. And there should be another stalker that was killed by boars around here. Right? Come on, where is he? There was definitely another stalker, wasn't there? If there was, I don't see it. Let's actually eat that can of uh, tomatoes that we got. Maybe he died on the other side and I just can't see him. I did see a lot of go a lot of uh, boars goring someone. There he is. Right. Got some money. Got some ammo. Not taking the Mosin. Okay, and with all this, we can actually sell some stuff to uh, butcher as well. I normally wouldn't sell mutant parts this early. I would try and. Get a stockpile going, so uh, I have what to turn in. But um, it doesn't look like we have that luxury right now. We need a lot of stuff. Especially ammo. And meds. Right. Um, let's just trade. This can go. Oh, we have Psyblock. I'm not sure where we picked it up, but uh, cool. Gonna drop this. 
would be better to sell it to an actual uh, medic, but uh, I guess I can't be picky right now. And we can just um, sell all of this. <coughs> mm, you know what? Um, should I get the hunting backpack? Mm, if I do that, I won't be able to afford any more ammo. So let's just get as much ammo as we can out of this. Yeah. And uh, we'll come back another time and get the hunting backpack and a better knife. Okay, let's see what missions we have around here. Del deliver a package to Rostock? We can actually do that, no problem. Garbage near the cordon. Um, and the other one, search and rescue. No, we can do this one. We're not doing search and rescue. We're not doing revenge killing. Um, okay, we can give freedom a couple of decks of cards. Where are they though? Oh, there's freedom over there. That's very interesting. Okay, so let's just head north. We can give Freedom the deck of cards, and uh, we can also do a quick run into Rostock. And um, deliver this package, because it's very heavy. We might not want to carry it uh, all the way down to Cordon and wherever else we're, we're going. Okay. I'm just having a look around here, see if there's anyone dead or dying. As it does happen from time to time. Okay, perfect. I was just hungry and uh, apparently this trader here decided to uh, sleep while we stole his chili beans. Some more cigarettes. Oh, it's these. Those are the worst cigarettes. They basically clear almost no radiation. Oh, relax. No, привет. Hmm. Ah, thought one of them might uh, want to join, but apparently not. I'm going to climb up here just a little bit. There's usually some random stuff lying around. And since we're going to Rostock, I will visit the mechanic and I can sell a lot of these things. Right, there's one more place I want to check. And that is right under here. There's usually some ammo. And there we go. Lamb by 19 FMJ. Or oh, I'm okay with that. It's a little bit more ammo for our for our um, submachine gun. Oh boy, we really need to upgrade our armor. Until then, let's um see what frequency did we need for meadow 58 megahertz okay that's not supposed to happen <laughs> right oh was wasn't it darkscape Darkscape, not Meadow. Yeah. Okay, I hope there's not a lot of rats here. Oh, calm down. I bring you your package, sir. It's a little bit of money, so that's okay. And they don't want to join me as an escort squad. Maybe some of the duty guys will.
in the end we're we're ecologists as long as they they help us out we don't care what faction they come from so let's do a quick run into rostock all right here we are As always, I'm guessing... Oh, the fog's gone. It's still a bit cloudy, but... It finally looks a little bit prettier. Okay, someone's fighting over there. Hopefully they'll clear out the dogs. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Which is perfect for me, because I really don't want to waste bullets on dogs right here. And if one of them dies, that's even better. We get a little bit of loot. Oh yeah, he's he's gone. Oh, Professor, what are you doing? Nah, I, I shouldn't waste bullets. Let them deal with it. Okay, that's it. And now we can just go on a little bit of a looting spree. Hello there. No. Apparently the other checkpoint is having some, some issues as well. Oh, the rats. Oh, would you look at that? Let's take everything. And we can uh, run out of here. Oh boy, that was a lot of radiation we just took. We can just smoke it off. <laughs> Get rid of these... Um, these black cigarettes as well. How much did they clear? Six <laughs> micro sieverts. I mean, water clears more. Honestly, I should just sell these. It's it's not worth the matches. Let's let's take a serious one. There we go. Okay, that that's a little better. Right, so let's check underneath here. There's a little bit of um, ammo always. Come on. There we go. <sighs> and uh, we can just run around and see what we can loot off of this place. Oh, we're hungry again. I'll just have a little bit of a water and hopefully that will wear off. Yeah. Okay. What did we... We did pick up a PDA from that dead duty guy. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have any stashes on it. Uh, but we will turn it into this guy. Uh, information to sell. And he'll give us a thousand two hundred and fifty. Um... <sighs> Okay, what else? There might be something here. 
Not this time. Okay, I think this place is always empty. Well, this time apparently. Okay, the bar is another place where we can get a, a few things. There is always stuff lying around there. I'll just ask my guy to wait outside. Okay, some good cigarettes. Kind of tuna sparkling water. And a um, flask of purified water. There's usually something else around here, but uh, apparently not this time. And I don't think there was anything in the back rooms, but I'll still check. You never know what barman is hiding. Um... Right, uh, next up. Uh, we can go by the mechanics place. And, uh, sell off everything we, uh... Have that we don't need, like, um... Actually, I'm gonna keep the glow stick. We might have to go out at night. And, um, yeah, I'm not very uh, happy about that prospect. That's 9 by 80 and we don't really need it. I'll, I'll just sell everything from here. Okay, barrel. Gun parts we don't need. And you know what? We might need some parts for this, but uh, not right now. Okay, that was a little bit of money. <sighs> Let's head straight to... Let's visit the other entrance to Rostock. Because I did hear some gunfire there. Maybe we can loot the mutants. And also, uh, who was I supposed to give the package to? Right there. Okay, there's nothing lying around. Um, okay, pseudo dog. We'll take it. <sighs> I'm not gonna talk to the medic about fixing um, our. Uh, about fixing ourselves. Just because. There we go, there's an artifact here. Okay, we will need to be a little bit careful because um, this area is always a little bit uh, wonky. And there it is. Um, a fountain. What did the fountain do? Ooh, cash back. That that's gonna be pretty good. Um, especially when it comes to using the black market. Oh crap! I touched the plant. Ah, I hate those things. Ooh, a trainee. No. I don't think anyone will ha will want to join me right now, but uh, here's the package, and we got some vodka, which is not bad. Also, um, apparently this guy wants a guide to the Dark Valley. So, the Dark Valley is one place where I don't really want to go right now. 
Um, it's, uh... It's the only place I don't want to go because, uh... We're not friends with the bandits. Uh, what about you? Sure. <sighs> okay. And we can go to uh, the colonel. I think it was a colonel. Mm. Rookie, maybe he wants to join. No. Ah, well. It was worth a try. Welcome, flashlight. There's usually some ammo here. Yes. 0.45. And I don't think there's ever anything spawning here, but it's always worth to try. Hmm. Okay, oh, he does trade weapons, basically second tier Warshall Pact weapons. Not gonna sell the fountain to him. Uh, but if we have anything um, miscellaneous to sell, he would be the guy to sell to. Um, so, for example, these, not gonna need. Okay, um... So, nothing on the black market. <coughs> I will take one container. Or should I? How are we on bullets? We're not bad on bullets. Honestly, what we need most right now is probably meds. Yeah. Um, and the flashlight. Okay, let's let's go get our meds. First of all, even though if we went back to Yantar we could buy them for cheaper. Oh boy, yeah, these are expensive. Um especially this one. Yep, there goes our money. And sell this as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I could sell the metazone and the morphine for a little bit of money. Uh, psi block. Nah, I, I kind of want the psi block. Yeah, we'll just do this. <sighs> okay, and we'll take a little rest near the campfire, heal up our uh, health, and we'll be back right after. <coughs> right, while we heal, how about we uh, check on our task board? Deliver a package to Corden. That's actually in my way. Uh, let's see. We have enough weight, so I can take this one. Hmm. Stalkers and scientists caught in a major mutant attack. I think this is actually... Oh yeah, it's just fetch a PDA, so we can do this in the truck cemetery. Storm the enemy, that's not for us. What? There was a mutant mission. Wild territory. We can take that one. And finally, we can check these turn-in missions, but it doesn't look like we have anything. Right. Okay, I think that's enough healing for now. So, this mission is kind of annoying. 
because there are a few renegades here and I don't really want to fight them right now. So we'll leave Crux Cemetery for later. Let's just go down to Garbage and then to um, Cordon where we have two missions. And uh, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, speaking of uh, bases, I was going to ask, where would you like to uh, see me set up a base this time? Just drop a comment. Tell me where you'd like me to, to set up the base. We are ecologists. We are friendly with everyone. Of course, uh, the the most accessible lo location is Rostock, but we can also do Dead City. We can do Army Warehouses. Or we can go even further to the south and uh, put our base in... Um... Did I loot these? Oh, okay. But we can go even further to the south and put our base in um... Cordon, for example. Though I don't really like Cordon and there are no medical... There are no um, doctors there. Or we can go Great Swamps. So, um, yeah, tell me where you'd like me to, to place the base. And yeah, I did uh, not take uh, the uh, Yantar into consideration simply because uh, it doesn't have a general trader. And I feel like that's a big requirement. Okay, let's see if we have any new missions here. Search the stash! Yes, please. I love searching the stash. And there was another one that I had something for. Dog meat, yes. All the dog meat. Okay, and they're both close by and in the way. Oh, the sun's out. Beautiful. Oh, someone's fighting over there. Oh no, I'm curious. Who the hell are they fighting? Coming from that direction. Oh, it's a freedom guy. Oh, shooting at a boar. All right. I don't mind a free a free boar leg. Wanna join? No. Never hurts to ask. Okay, so oh, it's actually that guy I need to take the package to. Hey, friend. The job is done. Oh no, that's the dog meat. Package is in cordon. This is um. <laughs> uh, this is the stash mission. Go do that one as well. Oh, that's a controller. Oh, that's new. Did they change the sound? Okay, we got him. I hope it's only one and not a pack. Oh, 
There's also zombies there. Oh, and we can actually open them up. Nice. Looks like we're safe for now. Where is this? Oh, there it is. It's the safe thing. Um, I guess there's some stuff here. Armor repair kit looks really good right now. And we can actually use this to fix it even more. And you know what? Since we're here, we might as well go to... There is one anomaly over there, which we could... Um, we could check for artifacts. I don't see any mutants around, which is good, unless that's one. No. Okay, um, yeah, there's definitely something here. Oh, crap. Right, and that was our first death. Okay, so um, we basically lost our whole backpack in that anomaly. The good thing is we can go back and grab it. <laughs> um, uh, do we have anything to turn in here, actually? Doesn't look, at, look like it. I'll um, check the task board, see if there's any new missions. Once again, doesn't look like it. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to run all the way back. Oh, and it's also midnight. We're going to have to sleep and then run all the way back. But yeah, so for now, I think we'll leave it at that. We got a nice objective for the next episode, <laughs> which is get all our stuff back. But we can do a quick run all the way there. It shouldn't be any problem. And um, after that, of course, we are going to head down to uh, Corden. But yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and hope you will enjoy this new series we, we've come up with. And uh, yeah, of course, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>